Thank you so much. Let's connect right now to one of our favorites here on the show. The Street Stylers Second Chance Trust is a public benefit organization that educates young people on the dangers of alcohol and um, substance abuse. We know how prevalent it is in South Africa and empowers them with knowledge and skills to make healthy life choices, saving the world every day. Absolutely love it. To tell us a little bit more about that, they, I, I want to say representative, sounds far too formal, um, one of the brothers um, in the mix there, Blake, the champ Williams. Blake, always love having you here because we get to see you dance, first and foremost. So um, really cool to have you here. How did you get the name the champ? How many times did you have to win until you were called the champ? Dude? I won world championships twice. 2010, 2011. Did they used to call you the champ after the first one? Or do, even before they even began? I think it settled in <laughs> after the second one. <laughs> Dude, you've certainly earned it. I think on one side, obviously, dance gives you an opportunity to, to be an athlete, to yeah. push, in your case and your, your crew, push the physical limits with some of the stuff that you're doing, which is awesome. But there is nothing more powerful as a developmental tool than mm. dance. Yeah. You get to experience it every day, freeing yourself, letting go, just doing that. The second chance, what is a second chance to you? What does that mean? So basically Second Chance is the PBO Trust, as you said, and they allow us the platform to connect with the kids at the schools. So Street Stylers is the dance crew. We've been doing our thing, we've been representing the country, but Second Chance is actually focusing within the country, doing school tours, traveling around, giving us the opportunity to teach dance to the kids and use it as a medium to inspire the kids as well, to become the best they can be. We offer a few other programs as well, but I mean, Second Chance is truly the hero here to allow us the platform just to connect to the kids. What's that experience like when you're starting to see those moments of self-actualization or that shift in a kid that you've been dealing with? And you'll know a lot of their stories. Yeah. I mean, it's a South African narrative. Kids are dealing with really difficult, uh, key phases of, of their childhood. How much of a difference can dance make in that scenario from your perspective? Eh? I must say it's the most rewarding feeling to see the look on their faces when we're dancing. And you can see the improvement, you can see the confidence building. Because at the end of the day, I see it like this. In South Africa, in Cape Town, I'd say especially, we have the best talent in the world, yeah. but we have the least opportunity. All our dancers, all our talented individuals don't have the opportunity to go overseas and represent the country. So just to see them shining and growing and believing in themselves, it's phenomenal. Yeah, and I think any performer will know that feeling of validation you get when you're first of all living out your, your true gift, that, that self that you are supposed to be, but doing that in front of an audience and getting that feedback, doing it with a mentor, being in that space and learning and growing. And, and you are actually, along with Lindsay, you have earned my utmost respect because you were able to teach me to dance, yeah. to do, actually do something which says, um, speaks volumes, but um, do the way that you are using what you do, um, and no one else could do that because you can go in as a two-time world champ and say, if you do this, it'll work, it'll grow, but uh, you prefer to do your talking when you dance and you've got something special for us. What are you going to perform for us Most today? Most definitely. We just threw something together, do something as fun on the Friday and a couple of freestyle moves as well. Oh, I love it, man. Blake, um, thank you so much for doing everything that you do, dude. I don't know how you fit it all in. You've, you've become such a dynamic thank you. young man. Um, and all the best of luck. Thank you. I must say this before we go. I mean, we're looking forward to our trip next week to Australia at Second Chance, our first global tour. Dominate. Uh, we, yeah, Come we, on. we usually do uh, local tours. We go to Port Elizabeth, East London, Johannesburg, Durban. But for the first time, we're going to Australia. So, really looking forward to that. Oh, man, you've earned the right. Uh, please pass on our best to all of the young dancers that you're taking with. Uh, I'm sure mm. you guys are going to shine that light. But um, we'll get a little taste of what you do with some uh, freestyle moves, as he said. Uh, Blake here all morning to, to help us round off this week with a proper Friday dance.